Senate Democrats blocked an anti-infanticide bill you may have read. The bill would have protected children who somehow survived abortion. There aren't a lot, but there are some. It's a real category. Republican Ben Sass introduced legislation after Democrats in multiple states advanced legislation that makes it possible to have an abortion right to the end of the third trimester, right into dilation. Republicans still have the option of bringing that bill up for a vote, but will they? Britt Hume has been following the story, and he joins us tonight. Hey, Britt. Hey, Tucker. So, I want this, you to know, buddy, that I'm this this thing, this seal you see behind me. Yes. This is the official. This is the seal of the President of the United States. Is that I'm true? Saying, this is the official State of the Union comment position. Wow. Well, that's the, the seal's a little bigger than I remember, which I. I think, well, you know, it's, you know, well, maybe it's I'm a little smaller than you might have thought. <laughs> I just wanted to, I, sh I should point out that what that SAS bill did was to say that if, you know, if a child wanted or unwanted is somehow born and survives abortion, that it should get medical care and right. obviously should not be put to death. Um, and the Democratic objection to it was that, well, it, you know, we have laws against killing and, and, and fantasize, so this was not needed. But this was a little more than that. It did require medical attention, which, you know, rather than having a doctor be able to simply say, well, you know, after consulting with the mother, as Ralph Northam described, it's let the, right. let the kid is in bad shape, and this let the little critter die. Well, that would be forbidden by this bill. Um, and you know, a single, it, it needed unanimous consent to proceed on the Senate floor, and uh, and they didn't get it. it. Took one senator to do it. Patty Murray and, in Washington. So that's where we are. So yes. I mean, I, I think Murray. even even people who are, would be worried about ending Roe v. Wade or support abortion in the first trimester might wonder what would be the objection with the bill that says you have to give medical care to a child who needs medical care. Well, that's a hard question to answer. And I think, you know, this, the Democratic Party's had a bad week on this issue and others, because first you had that bill that passed in New York, which basically allows abortion up to the, almost the very moment of birth. And they cheered the passage of that. You know, that's the kind of a measure that if you found it necessary for some medical reason, I can't really imagine. But if there were such a reason, you would pass it, you know, soberly and with regret that it was needed. Right. Um, that wasn't the reaction. We're, we're, we're reaching the point in this country where one party doesn't simply think abortion should be allowed and are sometimes necessary. They think abortion should be celebrated. And we're now at the point where we're in the neighborhood of 60 million abortions. Those are, those are human lives. No one doubts that. They're snuffed out uh, on their way to birth um, because we allow it. And we allow it later in pregnancies than other than many other countries do. And this was just the latest example of that. Then along comes Dr. Northam, now Governor Northam, describing a process where the you know the the child is born, resuscitated if necessary, made comfortable, so alive for sure. And then a dis and then a discussion would ensue between the mother and her doctors about. Uh, and the only thing I can think that I could possibly refer to is whether they'll let the little baby live or not. And and you know his age and claim that's not what he meant. And then, of course, his further misfortunes ensued after that, and now we have a we have another uh, uh, issue, as you've just been talking about, about uh, Justin Fairfax. Two issues that the Democrats thought were helpful to them, abortion and race, now working against them, it seems to yeah. me. Healthcare is a human right, they tell us, unless it's a baby you'd rather abort. It's, it's yeah, I think it's I think it's too far. But Hume, thank you very much. Great to see you tonight. You bet, Tucker.